So anybody who's done keto probably already knows this. If you do drink alcohol, it hits you a lot oh, harder. Yeah. Oh, hits yeah. you a lot harder <laughs> than if you're not in ketosis. Mm -hmm. And these researchers found exactly that in the rats. They, they tested rats. They had half of them on a standard diet and half of them on a keto diet and then gave them a dose of alcohol. The rats on the ketogenic diet had a five-fold increase in their alcohol levels. Oh, wow. And when they were in ketosis. So what that means is that If you are somebody who is struggling with alcohol use disorder and you want to overcome your alcoholism, the ketogenic diet might be a really powerful tool to give you more of an edge, to give you more of an advantage. Yeah. But it comes with this caveat. If you relapse while you're in ketosis, you could get a lot more drunk than you've ever been. Yep. So, so don't think, so you just need to know that number one, do not be getting behind the wheel of a car. Like, even if you think like, oh, I can have two drinks and I'm fine to drive. Two drinks might turn into four drinks or six drinks on the keto diet. when you've had a mental issue, whether it's depression, alcoholism, any of those things, weight becomes secondary. Weight becomes one of those things. that's like great. If it works out awesome. It's like a secondary benefit. But if I could just not feel like a crazy person and emotional and all over the place to not have any control over my emotions, that would be the number one thing I think that people can really get from this type of approach. I 100% agree. And I have talked to so many people who have said that. And, you know, I think that's one of the reasons a lot of people are like, you know, oh, nobody can do the keto diet and sustain it. It's not a sustainable diet. But for people who have struggled with mental health issues, and there are hundreds of millions mm -hmm. of people, there's actually in before the pandemic, there was about a 1 billion people on the planet who had a mental health issue. And since the pandemic, numbers have gone up. So wow. you're not you're not alone. And for those people, I've talked to so many people who say exactly what you just said. Like losing weight was nice, but that was, that was just icing on the cake. Like the cake yep. was, the cake was like, oh my God, I have my life back and my yep. brain back and I feel good and I feel normal. Like this is, this is a miracle. This is nothing yep. short of a miracle. Annotated and summarized, easy to share with loved ones. The description below the title for this video has these summary points.